no mold phobia. It is not the fear of Japanese baseball players. It is not the fear of mowing the yard. Nomophobia is not the fear of running out of something that you need. Dr. Wendy Rice, I'm not sure what nomophobia is, but I'm pretty sure I've got it. What is it? <laughs> okay. It's fear of being out of touch with your mobile phone. I've got it! <laughs> Cindy, you've got it too! I do. I probably have it 17% more than you do, Gary. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Is there anything we can do about it, Dr. Rice? Being aware of it for sure. And first of all, laughing at the name because it comes from no mobile phone phobia. It was a made up word from a study done in Great Britain of postal workers. I like that. So, and now I think it's kind of catchy. Mm -hmm. And really, I don't think it's a phobia. I think it's a little bit more of just an anxiety because we all feel, I think, a little bit, of, well, not all, but apparently more than 54% of us feel uncomfortable when we're out of touch with our phones. I don't know anyone who's out of touch with their phones. I see them omnipresent, Dr. Rice. But for most people, they are. But I think that maybe some people do it because they have to, whereas the rest of us maybe do it because um, we're really uncomfortable not having it. So, Dr. Rice, this study showed that actually 17% women are 17% more likely to get stressed out if they don't have their mobile phones. Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's because traditionally, and this is a whopping overgeneralization, women want to be more connected. You know, traditionally women are the connectors, and women relationships are traditionally more important in this way. To women than men, and I think it must hold true. Cindy, would you like to say something about that last comment? My theory, too, Dr. Rice, is that women are multitasking more, they're doing more things at the same time, and they have to be better connected. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of what I said, too. Your superior intellect. Da, 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 da. But I don't know that your smartphones, do, I mean, they can multitask, but I think that women are checking Facebook maybe more than the average man. And, you know, women are a little bit more prone possibly to gossip. <laughs> yeah, the men are too busy looking at porn to be messing up with. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And maybe a little bit of sports scores. And maybe, stuff. yeah. I think that guys are looking up different things sometimes than girls are, depending. Although, when I spend time with teenage boys or teenage girls in my practice in Tampa, they're kind of doing similar things online, at least in my presence. You know, Dr. Rice, I know we've kind of mocked this a little bit, but uh, I was at dinner the other day with my family and a friend, and this uh, large, fat, I, I'm assuming it was another extended family of about 20, came in and they, they arranged tables for them. And I was expecting to see one of those waltzing kind of moments where you sit around uh, sharing with uh, John Boy, et cetera, but it turned into everyone sitting ensconced and attracted to their individual mobile devices. No one was talking, but they were all playing on their phones. That just makes me sad when I see that. You know, I really think the rule needs to be at meals and at dinner particularly. Phones are in another room or they're turned off. Um, you know, like, and people's families. I love the idea of everybody, including the parents, put their phones in the mobile phone basket. And so we get to actually be with each other for an hour because the world will go on and the earth will continue spinning around the sun even if you're not connected to your smartphone. You know, Dr. Rice, I really think that's a great idea and something that I need to try to institute with my own family. It would be really nice to say between 5 and 7, it's a phone-free zone. Everybody just shut them down, put them away, and let's connect. I mean, you could really do something about it if you want to be proactive. Right, but I really think parents need to, they need to get the ball rolling, and this isn't just for kids. I'm sorry, Dr. Rice, I missed that. I was looking at my mobile device. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dr. Rice, thanks so much.